Hey guys, it is Stevie with Nurture Nourish Love and today I have my um, 2019 planner set up. I'm sorry this took so long. I meant to film this um, probably like a week ago and then I realized I was missing some inserts that I had to go and order from so much crafting. So everything is in. I have actually redesigned my um, my dividers and bookmarks. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I've done. Once again, I did go ahead and stick with a Disney theme just because that's kind of how I'm feeling lately. So let's go ahead and take a look. So um, a lot of this stuff that I got, I will try and link down below, but a lot of these things like these cards and a lot of the papers I used are from the um, Planner Dash the digital uh, monthly subscription and I don't think it's available anymore but I will check and I will link the subscription down below in the description box and see if I can find some of the goodies but this is just a cute little like journaling card that I went ahead and made from that subscription and um, I added some little jewels here just because I love the embellishments right now that's kind of where I'm at. This divider is from Hello Paper, or Hello Paper Cat. I will link it below. I think it's Hello Sugar Love. Her shop and her Instagram are two separate names. So I will link it down below. Um, this is the A5 size, if I didn't mention that. I added some of these cute little pearls at the bottom just from um, my stash, but I think they're originally from Hobby Lobby. And then I added these cute embellishments. These are actually from all of these little jewels are from uh, Joann's and they're super cute. And then I just have a cute little picture of me and my kiddo. So this year I decided to have um, more than just my monthly. I decided to do all of 2019 and um, not just the monthly but actual like a big overview. Um, with all of the months and then I decided to do this like fold out um, This is mostly I think it's going to be used to track my daughter's school schedule and I'm going to use Highlighters to color code it. So this is the next divider. This was from I believe um, Kitty Mint Co um, It's just a holographic um, castle decal and then this paper was from the planner dash and it says beautiful moments these are stickers that I got from Joann's and then I have stuck kind of to my normal um, setup from here on out here is my monthly overview one month two pages and I will link everything from so much crafting in the description box below so I keep all of my months in here so I can forward plan so I have all of 2000 and 19 in my planner as far as the monthly overview goes. I don't do that with my... This is my next insert and it says all I need is Starbucks and Disney. Very true. Super cute. I hope she brings this collection back. It really is so adorable. And then here are my weekly inserts. I went with the... Um, let me show you the full week, not just one page. I went with the habit tracker on the side like normal vertical. This is the same insert, or mostly the same insert that I have um, currently. Um, I did purchase the 2019 version of these inserts in um, personal size, but they're lined. And at first I didn't realize it and I didn't think it would be a huge deal, but I'm actually not a fan. So I think I'm going to go and buy the unlined version if she has it. Um, and this is just a cute little um, bookmark that I made. I punched it on the wrong side. This was supposed to be the front. Um, and it says, I poop magic and rainbows. Very true. This is my next divider. It says, to all who enter this happy place, welcome. This is where I have my daily inserts. And you can see I've got a picture on here just with washi tape. Um, I don't use these very often, but when I have a really busy day, they are so helpful to have because there are some days that I have so much to do and it's just really overwhelming and I need to be able to just put it all on one page like and dedicate one full page to that day. So that's why I have these. And then this tab, this is probably my favorite. It says busy getting dizzy and it's in one of the teacups. 
Um, and if you guys want me to do a tutorial on how I make my dividers and dashboards, let me know. I'm happy to do that. And then here's my meal planning. It says feed me. These are from Sweet Kawaii Designs. And this says get in loser. We're going park hopping. I love this. Mean Girls plus Disney. Just perfect. And then here I have my habit trackers. So this is for one month of habit tracking and I've got a bunch in here. Um, this is for, I'm probably gonna use this for my vitamins, workout, that kind of stuff. And then these are from Kitty Mint Co. These little die cuts that I put in here. Um, it says stay magical, swim with mermaids. This paper once again was from that planner dash. Here I have my uh, weekly cleaning list. I do use these a lot. I love them. They help kind of keep me on task every week, making sure that I do my weekly chores. And then this is one of my favorite dashboards, this paper right here. Um, this was actually from, I think, Joann's, and it's like foiled ice cream cones. And then I put a little journaling paper that says Mickey ears go with anything. And then here I have just my notebook papers. And then I have this cute little like um, planner pouch basically. And I got this from Hobby Lobby and it fits perfectly. And then I just have this paper in the back. So as you can see, I don't have a ton of frills. As far as the things that I'm keeping in these pockets, I have a sweet little note from my little sister. And then I have my daughter's school schedule in here. Um, but it's pretty basic. I really focused on the dividers and the embellishments and that was kind of where I pulled my attention this time. I don't have a lot going on in the pockets, I just have these little, uh, like, uh, Minnie Mouse bow. So this is what I am sticking with right now. If it changes, I will update you guys as I change throughout the year because honestly I never stay with just, like, one type of setup. I have stuck with these inserts for over a year now, ever since, um... Uh, so much crafting came out with them. I really love them. So I didn't even buy an Erin Condren this year, which is crazy because I've bought an Erin Condren every year for the last like five years. But this is what I'm sticking with, my A5 ring bound planner. I do also have my pocket and my personal both set up for different things. If you want to see a tour of those, let me know. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what planner you are using this year. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.